Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. We are doing the numerology and the astrology for January 24th, 2021. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 12. And if you add the one and the two together, you get the number three. So the number three is the number of positive mind, but it's kind of like a roller coaster. And so oftentimes it's associated with a quest because in quests there's always these ups and downs. And so today, what if we're on a quest? Uh, a quest to reclaim our heart. Um, this is very similar to how the people of the Andes feel about us. They believe that the Andes is the heart chakra of the world, just as the Himalaya are the crown chakra of the world. And if you journey to the Andes, you're on a quest to reclaim your heart. If you're on a journey to the Himalaya, then you are attempting to reconnect your crown chakra to your highest self. The number three is all about those spiritual journeys, those quests that we are propelled towards, those that help us to uncover and experience the greatest mystery of all, us. The number three shows that all journeys have ups and downs, wins and losses, but the journey is the greatest gift. The end result or the outcome that you think you are trying to achieve is never what the journey is about. Journeys are all about just finding the courage to begin and to continue no matter what obstacles are placed in front of us. Getting the dreams of our outcomes in life are never guaranteed. Many things in life fail, not because we are a bad person, but because it is the journey itself that is required for us to learn about who we really are. What is clear to me is that humanity, all of humanity, are curious explorers. We are all seeking to expand our knowledge and integrate what we have learned in ways that expand and enhance our life. Today, explore, expand, and give something new a try. Don't hold high expectations. Just allow the journey to be enough. The astrology today is fairly simple. It's mostly around just the fact that the moon is still in Gemini today and it's supporting a merging of the minds if it is possible. Curiosity inspires us to be patient and to give time to the future unfolding events to see what will emerge in this ever-changing world. Expect more of the unusual and more energetic battles to reclaim what has been lost. We might feel a bit scattered as we try to do so much in a short period of time. Be reasonable. A being reasonable is helpful as so much continues to shift with the tides moving towards Aquarius in February. The moon squares Neptune and it may make us want to take that odd afternoon nap, even if it is not something you normally do. Many things are indicating that a pause is indicated to go forward. So perhaps maybe the pause is about being going within and that's helpful in requiring us to move forward in the days and weeks to come. Many things feel as if they have loose ends and those pieces that we want to finish are still a work in progress. Take some time to care for our personal and physical body. After all, allow the a quest to be a quest for knowledge to inspire us to help and heal to the best of our ability. There are clearly problem areas and the Sun Chiron sextile inspires us to break through those challenges and advance forward. My quote for today, each encounter with higher vibration allows us to begin to learn how to hold that vibration in our body and hopefully move past our karmic limitations and move into higher planes of consciousness. And my blog tip for today, sometimes we consciously know that we are on a pilgrimage or a journey with a clear intent. And that is why many religions have set pilgrimages that all the support the clearing of karmic residue that the soul has accumulated over time. A pilgrimage is a conscious act of devotion, one that has the intention to deepen your spirituality. Those special places often have great spiritual energy and are landmarks that are held in high esteem. Some are so sacred that they are not allowed to be climbed or stepped upon. Within the pro process of a pilgrimage are what are called testing stones along the way. Processes that show you the weight of the negative karma a soul is carrying in this lifetime. Then every step is effort, a hardship, 
grueling and pushes the soul up against the obvious limitations that the mind has imposed upon the soul. My experience is that karma can be so heavy that it carries with it a type of weight that it can only be encountered when you push yourself beyond what you know your personal limits are. I do believe that karma can be reduced by the process of the pilgrimage as the effort and devotion has the ability to burn that karma off. I have done many such pilgrimages in my life, some without the conscious intention to burn off that karma, but amazingly the journey did it anyway. Others I have done with the intention to clear karma, and those proved to be a journey that pushed me right up against my personal weaknesses, fears, limitations, and busted my expectations of myself into tiny pieces of nonsense. No matter how great we think we are, there are many journeys that will show us how ridiculous our illusions are if we are willing to confront the truth by placing ourselves at the doorway to those spiritual encounters. There are many types of spiritual journeys one that, can go, that one can go on. Some are internal, and those can be just as scary as the physically demanding external uh, journeys. Uh, I find that both require a great deal of self-discipline. Both are necessary to uncover and discover who we really are and what we're made of. What if, right now, with every step you take, you can allow a mantra of kindness and love to be your guiding light? What if, right now, you could use this moment and this day to purify and burn off toxic karma? I believe that life can be a meditation. I believe that what we think and what we say and do does impact our karmic load. All of us are walking in the footsteps of other pilgrims. Their energy has left echoes, filaments of memories that we can encounter, bump into and connect with, and hopefully be empowered by. All previous pilgrims have created an energetic impact and their personal energy leaves echoes behind that can support our journey. That is why we instinctively want to follow in the footsteps of the great teachers and masters. Each encounter with higher vibrating energy allows us to begin to learn how to hold that vibration in our body and hopefully move past our karmic limitations and move into higher planes of consciousness. Thanks everyone.